Hi! So today I wanted to give you my first impressions of this Sailor Strawberry Milk Pen. Now, I've clearly unboxed it. Um, I ordered it from Jet Pens, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, it's in a box and it looks like there's plastic. So, well, let's slide it out and see. So it comes in a plastic case with a plastic sleeve that's not around the pen. <laughs> and it looks like it should have been clipped to this, but it's not. That's okay. Um, packaging isn't, you know, critical for me. I just think it's funny if that's the way it's going to go. Now, um, first impressions, visual impressions of this pen. It's ugly. <laughs> I really wanted to try a Sailor brand pen. Um, and so I was looking at this one. I, I don't know if this was like a series. I, I know this was a series. It was like the milk series. They had milk, strawberry milk, and chocolate milk. I ordered the strawberry milk because I thought it was cute online. It looked really pink, and it looked like it was bright pink with white spots. In person, it is not that color. It looks like um, a yellowy pale pink with like butter yellow spots like it's supposed to be like a cow pattern or whatever the milk one was white with black spots and the chocolate milk was like a brown with I don't I guess lighter brown spots um, so just my first impression it does not look like it did like it looked online it looked different in color online um, and it's an ugly pen so that doesn't mean that we can't use it I have other ugly pens and um, as long as it writes well, okay. This pen was, I want to say it was like $16. So let's look at it. When I feel it in my hands, this feels like really cheap plastic. Really cheap plastic. Um, I reviewed a Platinum Preppy, and the Preppy feels like it has way nicer plastic than this sailor. The sailor, the preppy feels like, you know, they even though it's not necessarily expensive, uh, everything is smooth and it feels fairly well constructed. This feels really cheap. It feels like a kid toy. I, I, I don't know. And it was $16.50. The preppy's like $3. So let's, let's see. Um, God, how do I, how else can I explain it other than this just feels really cheap like super cheap and it is not like even this this pilot petite that I got for three dollars feels better constructed than this sailor strawberry milk you hear that the plastic squeaks so it comes with a cartridge <laughs> oops sorry man it, seriously, this seems like an off-brand, like, Barbie pen. That's, that's what it reminds me of. Let's look at this. So, um, it's just smooth. You can feel that the, um, the pattern, this pattern is, like, a screen, like, I don't, placed onto the pen. It's kind of a dull, a dull coating, whereas the rest of the pen is just a shiny, um, really dull, yellowy pink that's sort of coming off on camera accurately. I would say my camera's coloring is much more accurate than jet pens. Let's look at the nib, because that's really what I'm interested in at this point is the Sailor nib. I've heard a lot about it, and um, I'm looking to try it. I believe I ordered this in a fine, although this says MF on the nib, so that doesn't help me. Is it medium? Is it fine? I can't remember. I probably should remember, but I don't. Um, all the rest, the only other thing that's on it is a little anchor, which is pretty cute. I don't know if you can see the anchor there. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, the rest of the pen, let's see. The clip is, feels like if I did this a couple times, it would just snap right off. Uh, at the top, there's a little star. I think that's a sailor thing. Um... 
yeah, this is just a pretty cheap looking and feeling pen. It really does seem like it's like a child's kind of pen. Let's do a size comparison with something that might be, um, that you might be familiar with. Let me grab a Metropolitan. Set that ink cartridge aside. I don't know if this would take a converter. Uh, I imagine it would. So it is almost the same length as a Pilot Metropolitan. It's maybe just a little bit shorter. Um, but not by much. And it feels... Uh, the Metropolitan, you know, is kind of a, a torpedo shape. But um, it's not quite as thick as the Metropolitan. Man, this is just really... I can't get over it. It is an ugly pen. Okay. Maybe I, and they had it in Demonstrator, and I almost ordered the Demonstrator, but I thought that it was like a really bright pink color, and that would be cute. Not so much. So, let's load this up. The, the plastic is, um, like I said, it feels cheap and breakable, very breakable, and it's super lightweight. So you just pop that cartridge on there. Unposted, that's the length in my hand. Let's grab that Metropolitan or a Metropolitan. Have you seen the new Metropolitans? I'm really tempted to get one in those colors with the fine tips. So it's almost the same as a Metropolitan um, uncapped as well. They've got great, great looking colors and really nice. So it just, uh, it posts pretty securely on the back in my hand, posted. This is uh, ARC notebook paper. So let's see. The proof is in the writing. So I can forgive ugly pens um, as long as they write really well. I don't know if I would write with this posted. It's, it's lightweight. This feels pretty weightless without the cap, but the cap does add some weight to it, and I don't necessarily like that. All right, so the ink started flowing pretty quickly. I ordered the fine point, the fine tip. I can, I can visually see it. So, kind of scratchy. So far, no ink flow problems. So this is a Sailor there was a model number or a model name I can't remember I just remember it being strawberry milk and a fine yep. this is just a black cartridge it came with nothing to write home about so the nib is um, well let's talk about the weight the weight it's it's weightless without the cap. The plastic, um, the plastic feels very cheap <laughs> and breakable. It's and like kind of brittle. That's how it feels. It feels brittle. Like it has no, just feels really brittle. Um, Let's just put it out there right now. This is an ugly pen. So let's see um, nib width, the line width. So that's that's with no pressure. Pressure pretty much the same. Let's go this way, this way. Well, I should have done that neater. Basically, you're going to get consistent line width any way that you write with it from whatever angle. Let's see if it has any flex. It didn't claim to. Um, so. 
actually it kind of does. It does have a little bit of flex. I don't know if you can tell that. I flexed on the downstroke. So it actually does have a teeny tiny bit of flex to it. Not much. And I really had to push quite hard to get that. So the nib. The nib feels... The nib feels like it has some give to it. with normal pressure. It doesn't feel like a super hard point, like a Twisby. Um, it definitely feels like it has some give to it. Uh, the nib can squeeze out a teeny flex. Although, I don't think that's really, you wouldn't get that if you were just riding with it, just with a normal, a normal way to write. Uh, the nib is quite scratchy. This might be, I'm trying to think of all my nibs, this might be one of the scratchier nibs I have on all of my pens. The nib is quite scratchy, and, um... It drags a bit on the paper. And this is really smooth paper. So, um, let's see. It's a fairly dry writing pen. When I kind of move the nib around, it's just scratchy from, from every angle. So, overall first impression. I'm going to be just brutally honest here, because uh, I've got cheaper pens that have really wowed me a lot more than this. This ugly pen is overpriced. For the quality and feel. Um, I would not repurchase this pen. And I don't think that my impression is going to change over time. Um, everything oops Everything about this pen feels cheap. And there are a lot of pens out there that you can get for a lot less that just feel a lot better. So, that's unfortunate. I, I did a little haul and I ordered quite a few pens. Not quite a few, I ordered a few pens. And, um... This was the second most expensive pen that I ordered, and I would say it is one of the worst pens overall that I own. Fountain pen or not. So, um, first impression of the Sailor Strawberry Milk. I would be sending this back to Jet Pens, but it's used and uh, it's good when you're doing comparisons to have like your bottom of the barrel so you can compare things to that and this is definitely one of my absolute bottom of the barrel pens in look feel quality um, and writing experience overall so i would not recommend this to you perhaps sailor makes much better pens in the more expensive range but for this one at 1650 what a waste i hope that you found this helpful and um, i hope you have a great day thanks for watching Bye bye